the sights and sounds of rejuvenation. There was a time uh, where uh, the, the heartbeat was difficult to find in downtown Mesa. But now, there's a new pulse. There's been a lot of excitement. Commerce is flourishing, while new construction is soaring. We have a lot of shovels in the ground right now. Signaling that Mesa, Arizona is booming. You see quite a, a resurrection taking place. New restaurants, new retail, new housing. It's a big, big deal for the community and the region. The word on Mesa's Main Street, one development in particular pioneered the way. Their decision to invest in our downtown sent a great signal to the rest of the smart investors. It's called the Grove on Main, an oasis in this arid urban setting. Built by City Creek Reserve, Inc., the real estate arm of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, that now complements one of the most iconic sacred structures in the Grand Canyon State. I've talked to a number of developers who looked at this project as this great start of this revitalization of this part of the downtown. I don't think we probably would have come in if the church hadn't have been building down here. It's hard to be the first, right? The project encompasses several blocks west of the Mesa, Arizona temple. This area here is, was a very challenged area. It was an eyesore around the temple just because it was old and now it's been revitalized and it's looking beautiful. Planning and preparation took over two decades and received the enthusiastic support and collaboration from city and community leaders. I think the church recognized this many years ago and that's why they bought the properties around the temple. Which lined up with the city wanting to see that part, older part of the community also be redeveloped. Turning a profit was not the main goal of this project. The overall purpose of the project is to protect and enhance the environment or the grounds around the temple. In fact, the church has a practice of investing in areas where its members live by contributing to worthy needs that benefit those communities. We have a significant uh, footprint here in Mesa with the members of the church and the temple, and we felt that we needed to do our part. The project broke ground in 2018, and over the next four years, an impressive feat of engineering took place, constructing the first underground garage in Mesa underneath an existing city street. Two miles of city roads were redone, while upgrading electrical, sewer, and storm drains. After a, a big rain, the water would just sit, it wouldn't drain. Well, we fixed that. It's probably beyond what we even imagined the best that it could be. High standards to be sure. This while working through a myriad of challenges, the least of which, a pandemic. I can't overstate how challenging it was to build through the pandemic. Nearly 300 skilled trades and craftsmen kept their jobs through the COVID-19 caused slowdown. Health and safety precautions were taken. The site never shut down during the pandemic or at any other time. The workers have been fantastic. I can't imagine what it would be like, you know, 110 degrees and working, but they've done it. They've stayed healthy. The end result of those efforts, 243 smartly designed one and two bedroom apartment units, 22 townhomes, and eight single family homes that include a pool, clubhouse, and fitness center. Other amenities include a retail bookstore, ice cream shop, and the relocated Mesa, Arizona Temple Visitor's Center. Having the visitor center allows those who come to the area to learn more about who we are, the purpose of a temple. Additionally, the enhanced no car walking experience was designed with light rail in mind, part of what the city brought to the table. This project would not look like it does today without its proximity to light rail. The variety of architectural motifs add to the overall charm of the property. Each have individual architectural styles, but then there's elements that tie the buildings together. One of those subtle details, the roof lines of the buildings progressively lower as they get closer to the temple as a show of deference. We also tried to design it architecturally in a way that looks high quality, but is still ties in with the temple. Not only was new construction added, but where possible, historic homes were remodeled, such as with First Avenue and adjoining streets where those properties are located. There is still a rich history on First Avenue that, that is worth preserving. Where we can, it was best to preserve the overall feel of the neighborhood, and that's what we tried to accomplish. It also helps the city fill a critical void. We need the people living here day in and day out. This development has allowed us to have that density here. To underscore that point, the Grove on Main accommodations are priced for families and students wanting to live that urban lifestyle. The price point is unheard of, especially with what's going on in the valley. So I thought if I want something like this, I better move on it quick. 
Anna Christensen, a single mom, says nothing in the area compares. They've really put a lot of thought into every little detail of this place. I can't even say enough about how much I like the area. The movie Field of Dreams, build it and they will come. That's actually what's happened here. And it happened fast. Occupancy is at 100%. It really is helping the city. We're seeing other projects that are coming up, not ours, but that this is generated because people see what we've done, and now it really is beginning to start that process of revitalizing the downtown of Mesa. Other projects like the new Arizona State University satellite campus are under construction. And the grid, another living experience that includes restaurants and retail space, and several hundred apartment units. We now have a bar that's been set that we point everybody else to and can say, you need to go look at what the Grove has done. Look at the quality of the development there. We're very fortunate uh, as a city that the church was willing to come and invest in our community, create something that's going to last generations, and it's top quality. We've protected this environment, we've enhanced it, and people will enjoy this area for years to come. That's all part of just being good citizens and participating.